good morning. I hope that you're all well and that you've had a good week. The week has gone by so quickly. As we get closer to Christmas, the weeks go faster and faster. Um, Christmas seems to be extra special this year because last year in the UK, we just didn't get to have family Christmases because of lockdown. I really hope that we can have a proper Christmas this year. Um, it was a little concerning uh, yesterday to see all the articles and headlines about this new uh, variant uh, of COVID. It doesn't sound very good. Um, I'm a little concerned uh, because I'm flying to the States in January um, and I really hope that um, my trip will be able to go ahead. Um, I'm going to the Sampler Symposium at the Attic Needleworks and I am so, so excited about that. It seems such a long time since I've seen many of my needlework friends and I'm really looking forward to going, seeing old friends and making new friends and also to stock up on some of the goodies that Jean has at the attic. Um, the attic is well worth a trip at any time of the year, but it does seem a little bit extra, sort of extra special when um, you go to an event. There's this wonderful, wonderful buzz in the air and um, it's always very very inspirational to go into the attic and just see all the wonderful models um, that are just well they just cover the walls um, I've never seen so many models in one place as at the attic and I know that in January when we go Jean will have some wonderful <laughs> linen um, and lots of beautiful threads and charts and all the little sort of um, needlework pretties that we love to collect. Um, if everything goes to plan, I will be going to the States five times next year. I've got to catch up. <laughs> I've missed everybody so, so much. Um, and one of those trips is going to be in October. And you heard this first here. Um, in October, I will be teaching a one-day workshop at Hobby House Needleworks. And this is only for one day. Um, I'm actually going to the States um, for um, a sort of like a social visit. Um, and I'm just putting this one day into my trip. And the project I'm going to be teaching it's a beautiful Scottish sampler and the colours on this sampler are just amazing. Um, and there's not a single eyelet in the sampler. You always associate eyelets uh, with Scottish samplers, but there's not in this one. But there are some specialty stitches that we will be looking at at the workshop. So the workshop we will be learning. Um, but um, at the end of it, or, or you will go home with this beautiful, beautiful Scottish sampler to stitch. And I'm so excited as well about visiting Hobby House Needleworks. The photographs that you see needleworkers post uh, from their road trips to Hobby House, it looks so inviting. And I think October's going to be such a beautiful month to visit the area. I've been told that it's a very, very pretty area and um, I'm sure that the fall is going to make it very sort of beautiful to sort of drive through that area. So anyway, um, flying into JFK and a friend is traveling with me and we've got two other friends flying in um, to JFK and the four of us are going to have a road trip. Um, so, so excited. Um, at the end of the road trip, we're going to end up in New Jersey to visit um, Jaylee and Lisa. Um, Jaylee and Lisa have been friends of mine for many years and very much part of my journey with Hands Across the Sea Samplers. Um, Lisa now is a co-reproductionist at HATS and it's just going to be so, so special to get together. Um, 
what else have I got to talk about? I'm just sort of, I'm thinking about all my trips to the States. I am panicking though about that first trip and all the red tape that we have to go through to travel in the times of COVID. Once I've done it once and I know the system, I will be okay. Um, this week, um, I finished um, the little sampler that I showed you uh, on um, Facebook, on social media, with the beautiful red house. That is finished. Um, that's at the Framers. And um, it's also uh, been photographed. I expect in the next couple of days the photographer would have photographed it as well. I don't know when it's going to release. If you could see my haul, I have got so much to uh, release but of course you can't do it all at once you've got to space it out. Um, this month um, we have released Mary Snow which is a very sort of Christmas sampler because of the colours and her name Snow. Mary Snow perfect name for such a Christmassy sampler and then the other sampler that we released in November um, is uh, Maria Vincenza La Ricci. And to me, that is such a special sampler, a real standout sampler. I have got nothing like this on my sampler walls. And this really is a one off, the, the antique, the original for my sampler collection. Um, it's only cross stitch over two and some four sided stitch. Um, a beautiful sampler uh, to sit down and stitch and a real stunner for your sampler wall. Um, I'm so thrilled that that is in our portfolio now and that so many of you um, can relate to this sampler. Italian samplers, you don't see them reproduced that often. Um, so, you know, it's, it's nice to have a breadth to the hats portfolio and it's really nice to have a breadth to your sampler wall in your own home. Um, yes, it's been a, just a really lovely journey um, working on that. Um, my friend, um, the contented stitcher, um, stitched the model and I'll be seeing her in January so I'll be taking uh, the model um, up with me to, to when I see her and um, I know the spot that she's going to hang her in her home and it's going to look absolutely fabulous. It's going to really stand out from the samplers that she has on the wall already. Um, stitching wise, I've started a new project and um, I haven't been able to put my needle down on this piece. Um, I only started this this week and um, oh, I just really, really love working her. Um, I stayed up till one o'clock last night and I had no idea that was the time. And it was only because um, I got to this end and I just thought, oh, I'll go and put the kettle on, thinking it was about 11 o'clock. <laughs> it was one o'clock and oh my God. Um, but, you know, I was having so much fun with this sampler. It's so rich. Look at that beautiful band. Um, really, really lovely. And this sampler, as it grows, becomes more and more beautiful. I bought this sampler because visually it is so appealing. Secondly, there's a lot of red in it. Um, the needleworker's name is amazing. Um, it was enough, you know, if I just read the name, I would have stopped and sort of thought about it and probably researched the uh, person who stitched it. And also, I actually have a connection to this sample, not a foot, sort of a, a, a physical connection, but I have something in common with the person who stitched this sample. And I thought, I want to stitch this sampler myself and I have been saving this sampler to work on. Now, um, when I get to here, I have to stop stitching and I have to chart some more. I was so anxious to start um, that um, I'm having to chart and stitch, chart and stitch. So, so pretty.
The linen I'm using is uh, from Tabby Cat Linen and uh, that's sold on Mill on the Floss Sampler's website. But also Jean Lee of the Attic Needleworks has uh, brought in uh, Tabby Cat Linen from France. So if you're based in the US, you can access this linen from Jean Lee, but also Michelle Tabby Cat Linen Mill on the Floss Samplers. She will ship around the world. Um, and Michelle is um, so obliging. Um, when I said to her, I like that colour, but I want it in this count, she did it for me. Um, so, you know, if you have any questions about Michelle's linen, just pop her an email and um, she will respond and she is just so helpful. Um, what have we got here? Um, well, um, talking about workshops and um, the Sampler Symposium, one of the teachers at the Sampler Symposium is my very dear friend, Sissy. And um, I'm really looking forward to taking a class with Sissy and um, I'm going to do the extra class on Monday that Sissy has put on in addition to uh, her class in the main body of the Sampler Symposium. And I would really, really love to attend Sissy's class at um, Christmas Williamsburg, but um, not this year. And next year I can't because, you know, five times is an awful lot. But in 2023, uh, myself and some of my friends are hoping to go to Williamsburg and with a bit of luck, Sissy will be teaching then. We shall see. I am a very lucky person because Sissy um, created this little beautiful set, or she stitched this little set for me, and when these came in the post, they were such a wonderful surprise. Um, this little needle case, isn't that fabulous? So she recorded um, a group of us, um, and this sort of... Um, commemorates a very special weekend we had just as Covid took off. Um, we hope that our group of friends can um, get together again in the future to celebrate uh, our friendship and our times together. She stitched, um, without a friend the world is but a wilderness and do you know what that is so so true. I value my friends so much. Um, really really beautiful and Sissy's stitching is exquisite and her finishing and I'm really looking forward to taking Sissy's class to um, learn how she finishes um, her smalls. This is really beautiful. It's a needle case and um, there are some little ivory, um, they're not real ivory, mother of pearl I should say, um, thread keeps and um, some different coloured linens for me to keep my needles on and then Sissy did this beautiful um, scissor case again her stitching and her finishing is so beautiful and this is just darling it's a little uh, needle book and it is so pretty do you recognise these motifs and which sampler they come from. If you do, leave a comment on the video. Um, so pretty. Um, this week I finalised how I was going to store my DMC. Um, I knew I was going to store it in this DMC thread box. I bought this box oh, a very, very long time ago, but I bought it without the DMC inside and um, a few weeks ago I had the entire collection of DMC threads come. Now if I was a needle worker I would have um, stored the threads numerically because that's how I would want you to have pulled them. If I had a chart I would have gone down the list and pulled those numbers to start the project but because I am a designer 
I pull the threads by colour to match them to the design that I'm working on. So I decided to store my colours um, by uh, shade families. And um, this is how I have stored them. I have put the colours together. And it was very, very interesting doing this. Um, it was so wonderful to work with colour um, and all these beautiful colours that are available in DMC. When you see colours laid out like that, it really sort of makes your heart sing. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful colours. Anyway, that's all uh, done. Um, and um, I think that's going to make my life much easier having them in colour families as I'm selecting colours um, to uh, chart with. Um, okay, do you know what? I think that's probably all for this week. Um, I'm off um, out for lunch with um, Elizabeth, um, myself, Ray, Elizabeth and John, we're going up to the golf club to have Sunday lunch. Um, they put a carvery on at the golf course and uh, of the golf club, and it's um, really, really lovely. Um, I'm not much of a meat eater. Um, I try to avoid eating meat where I can, but I do love all the vegetables that you get in a carvery. So, um, looking forward to that. Food is so nice, but. Um, you know, it's just so easy to overindulge and put weight on. With Ray not being, um, or, you know, everything that we've gone through the last sort of three to four months with Ray, it's been very easy to eat when you're anxious. Um, so, you know, I've got to be good. Christmas is coming. Lots of chocolates at Christmas. <laughs> um, so, anyway, I'm trying to be careful and I'm trying to get a lot of walking in. And this week, um, I have walked an awful lot um, with the dogs. We've got in some fabulous walks. We went out yesterday um, in the storm because the last couple of days in the UK, we have been battered by um, a really um, bad storm. And I was walking out on the, the cliffs yesterday, well away from the cliff edge. Like, you know, we're used to walking on the headland, so we're, we are careful. But I was walking. <laughs> the wind, it was like doing some um, resistance training, trying to walk into the wind. But the dogs absolutely loved it. Um, the wind really invigorated them. And they played and played. And they probably did three times the mileage that I did on this walk. And they came home and they curled up in front of the wood burner and they were soon snoring away. Um, I sat down and started to stitch and to um, listen to Go Tell the Bees. Oh, it has been so wonderful um, having the next instalment in the Outlander series. Um, I want this book to last because obviously it's going to be a very long time before we get the next book. Um, so this week I've allowed myself to indulge but starting on Monday I'm going to res severely restrict myself um, and pace the book out so that it lasts. Um, that's what I've said I'm going to do. Um, I hope that I keep to it. I suppose I can always start the book again and reread it, but um, yeah, oh, it's just so lovely to have that book. And before we know it, we're going to have the next series on TV uh, of the Outlander uh, dramatisation, which is wonderful to look at. Um, okay, I'm starting to waffle. I'm going to go and upload this video so that you can listen. Um, oh, one more thing. Alethea Saunders, the uh, Tennessee sampler uh, that is a fundraiser for Rock Castle. Um, it's available on the Rock Castle website. Um, yesterday I uploaded um, a floss tube, which I don't appear in. It's a video that Melissa and Deborah recorded 
at Rock Castle talking about Alethea Saunders' um, sampler. Um, it's amazing um, reading the history on Alethea and her family. Her family were so important in um, the American history. It's, and, and you know, founding of the state of Tennessee really really interested and it was such an honour to help Deborah and Melissa get this fundraiser off the ground. My part in it was very very small. I saw the sampler at Rock Castle back in uh, March 2020 um, and then I graphed out the sampler from photographs but um, Melissa and Deborah have done most of the work on producing uh, this sampler so that Rock Castle can benefit. Um, please go along and have a look at Alethea and um, you know we hope that as many people as possible are going to purchase the PDF so that you know Rock Castle can um, use these funds uh, to preserve this beautiful uh, and historic home. Um, Thank you for listening. Stay safe, stay well, and if God is kind, I'll be back next week, hopefully with Elizabeth and maybe Sue. Bye-bye.